Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Slab and Sundays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, cut them into slabs so I can use those slabs for capuchons and jewelry and other things. This week we're going to do this really crazy mudstone. I think it's a mudstone. Um, this is generally what like the grayish ones look like, but then it's got these raised black bands in there. So I'm hoping there's going to be some really crazy patterning in there, but I'm not 100% sure. You can see this, this spot is super flat right here, so I'm going to just cut slabs this way. Maybe just try to get one or two out of this and then keep an end. And then the second one is this. I don't know if this is rhyolite maybe with all these white inclusions in it and some green going on. Not 100% sure, but I'm just hoping I can get some nice dark and light contrast out of that white right there. So I don't know if I'm going to go this way or if I'm going to go this way. Probably this way, but we'll see when we uh, we'll see when we get into it. But I'm going to use the 10 inch slab saw and I'll probably use a thick centered blade just because these are some kind of weird pieces, like kind of wobbly. So, all right, let's get set up and we'll get slabbing. Okay, so through the first one, did have a little bit of chip out because this stuff is generally, you know, it's like the most sedimentary, sedimentary rock. So it's very chippy at the ends. I tried to go slow, but it just chipped out on me. So let's see if we got some patterning. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. You know, almost bordering into like Picasso stone, but not quite. And that black material running through there, that's cool. So I did get three slabs, three nice little thin ones. So, ooh, sweet all that contrasting patterns all those lines yeah that's really nice too little maybe fracture down the middle there oops or maybe some limonite staining in the middle see on the next slab yeah a little limonite stain little pocket right down the middle kind of looks like a planet like the surface of a planet that black in there is really cool I like that really dark black so this stuff doesn't shine up totally mirror shiny but it does take a good enough shine where it makes really good stuff and here's the third one I had some chip off on that one but still really really cool just like a I just call this like gray banded mudstone you know yeah that got those yellow inclusions down the middle there that's kind of cool I wonder if those would polish out then here's the end oh, and yeah, it got a little bit more yellow in the end even oh yeah there you can see right where it went through so that's cool so definitely one for one so let's get on to that second one Okay, so through that second one, I did stop at two because if if this like uh, opened up and or if it like closed in with like the matrix and it was just gray, I didn't want to do any more slabs and like take any more blade life off. So I did one regular slab and one little thinner one, but let's see what the end looks like. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Look at all that swirliness and green, some brown in there. Not 100% sure what it is. Probably just a matrix with a bunch of stuff going on in there. Maybe basalt or rhyolite. Really cool though. That white is really cool. All right, so let's see the first slab. Just a regular slab. Ooh, really cool. Oh, look at that face with an eyebrow even. Yeah, that white is really cool. That actually looks like a witch flying with a little face as well. So really cool swirly green some pareidolia in there oh yeah the white kind of opens up a little bit more look at the swirliness down there in the yellow crazy a lot of stuff going on in there so definitely good on the first slab and then i did a little thin one yeah same thing wow that's just craziness going on in there really cool though that should make some really good stuff 
Yeah, I made a little long thin one like this for like a little hanging, uh, like a little hanging wind chime thing. All right, and then here's the end. So I could get some more off of there if I wanted to. I'm not gonna right now, probably. You know, these two will be good for now. I'll just see if it actually shines up, but definitely two for two. So, all right, if you like this video, leave a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for some close-ups at the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.